Well, hello. Thanks very much for having me. Um, I'm going to be playing a few uh, pieces for you today in this beautiful building, so it's a rare treat for me. Um, the first one I'm going to start with um, was from a collection called The Ballad of Juniper Davy and Sunny Lumiere, which I made in, scarily enough, 2010. Seems a long time ago now. Um, it was, well, it was many things. It was a collection of poems, which we uh, showed as a performance. And just to show off, I also wrote the musical score for it as well. So um, that happened while I was artist in residence with Metal in Liverpool. Uh, so I'll play the piece uh, from that, which was kind of like the main signature tune from the whole performance. And it's called In the Seams of Sleep. very much. Um, moving on, well actually moving back in time slightly, this piece was from my first uh, CD and I realised I had a number of these compositions that hadn't found a home and um, they weren't for another project, they weren't for a play or anything, they were just slightly floating around by themselves. So I just decided to record them and put them all together. So that is the Mystery Workshop CD and um, I hate to think now how old this piece probably is but it's one of my favourites and it's called Anhedonia.
Thanks. Always worth uh, just checking. You pretty much just breathe near the harp and it goes out of tune, so I have to be quite gentle. Um, so I'll just finish this short set with this piece, which is also um, from the Mystery Workshop collection. Um, it's just another nice, rather sweet tune called Good Animals. I'm going to start the second section with a piece that isn't one of my own, but it's a tune that I've always loved. Um, it's by a chap called Neil Gow, who is a fiddle player and composer. I'll get the century wrong, but I want to say kind of late 1700s. Um, I should really check. Um, but it's just a, a tune that I've always loved. It's originally a fiddle tune, and I grew up hearing it because uh, my mum played it on the fiddle. Um, so thankfully arrangements do exist for the harp. Um, it's called, intriguingly, Neil Gow's Lament for his second wife. Thank you. 
Thanks very much. A bit of a tearjerker, that one. Um, I kind of set myself up now because I've got to follow one of his tunes with one of my own. Um, but this is a very new one. Uh, it was quite nice, actually. A friend of mine just recently asked me to write a dune for a friend of hers who was getting married. Um, so it's always nice to have a, somebody to write for. Um, they're getting married in Wales, so you can help me with my pronunciation, in a place called Trelegan. Trelegan. Uh, so it's called The Light in Trelegan. <laughs> Thank you very much. Um, so I'll finish with uh, this last one, which was for a project. Um, the piece and the project are called The Clearing. It was with a sound artist called Simon Wetham. And we got together a few years ago and decided to record uh, the Dawn Chorus, which is something I'd always wanted to do. And in the course of digging around a little bit, I discovered there is an International Dawn Chorus Day, which, if it hasn't changed, is sometime in early May, I think. Um, so making this discovery, we decided to, to do the recording on Dawn Chorus Day itself, which, of course, was raining. But it didn't stop us. Uh, we went out into Sefton Park in Liverpool, just where I live. And over two consecutive mornings, um, we recorded the birds and I improvised along with them. And I also played this piece, which I kind of already had prepared, and it seemed to suit the atmosphere and the mood and the environment. Um, so I'll finish with this, and thank you very much for listening, and thank you very much, poets and players, for having me, and I hope to see you again soon. <laughs>